Now he popped up in Derry, then got suited and booted with Louis Copeland, and now Patrick Dempsey, the movie star, has made an appearance in Dublin's oldest chipper, Leo Burdocks. And joining us this morning via Skype to tell us all about McDreamy's visit is manager Derek Duggan. Good morning to you, Derek. Good morning, Alan. A great weather day for fish and chips. I'm telling you, I'll have a fresh cod chips and a battered sausage, please. Thanks very much. <laughs> and do you want extra crispy bits on that? Of course you have to have it if you're going to Burdocks, don't you? Come here, tell us about this. When did he come in? He came in yesterday afternoon. He'd just been in Cable Street and Louis Copeland's got a superb suit. And then he said he wanted a fabulous you know, meal of fabulous fish and chips to round off his day. He was having an indulgent day, you know, wanted to treat himself. <laughs> so we were more than happy. So he who in, he saw the Hall of Fame. And uh, I guess he wanted to be up there with Bruce Springsteen and Bono and all the rest of them. And who you know, told, so who told uh, him about uh, Leo Burdox? Who told him? <laughs> Do oh, absolutely, yeah. Look, he wanted the best of Dublin, you know, and we are the best of Dublin, you know. <laughs> so there <laughs> he is. Connor. Connor didn't actually recognise him now, Mario. Oh, did so, he not? Uh, it's a different generation, you know. I mean, who did he think he was? Who, and then how did they realise it was Patrick Dempsey? Well, Selena, our general manager, she's a big fan. All and right. she'd already sent some photos around saying, look out for him. If you see him, can you give him my number? I think she wants to deliver out to him. She said something about she would deliver maybe any time of the night or day in the negligee if needed. Or is that a bit too early? Yeah, no, it's a bit too early for that. A bit too early for that. So you could be doing the catering on the movie now. Would that be a good thing for Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. Connor wants to be an extra. He said he'll bring up loads of great fish and chips. So a tell nice us... A card, a nice fresh card. Tell us, who else then? You've mentioned a few. Who else have been into the chipper? I've, I've been there many a times. When we were, used to be around the Tivoli, we'd always go around. Who else has been in there? I probably served you, Alan. You probably, probably did. On the opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we like to think Bruce Springsteen is a regular, you know? He, he tips the, the lads well, so they're, they're more than happy to let him in, you know? Yeah. Um, in the great days, of, uh, you know, when uh, the U2 lads were around, Adam used to bring his girlfriends in, Naomi Campbell, you know, Christy Torlington. They never ate too much, but they always had a good time, you know? Uh, they, they really are. They're one of the tastiest fish and chips you could ever have. And uh, the, the, wall, the wall is getting bigger. And everybody now uh, in, in Dempsey's clan... I have to double-check that you're there as well. I, I, don't think I, the Hall of Fame. I don't think I ever Wait took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but thanks look, for joining us. You've had a yeah. yeah, yeah, so great. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, good good. There we go. Now, Patrick Dempsey, in his, <laughs> and it was so funny, uh, he was calling, he said it was bleeding deadly. Well done to Celine, the manager, for recognising him, because it's very difficult, the baseball cap yeah. and the mask and a, and a coat as well. Going I don't in, think I would have recognised him. Going in your fish and chips. Yeah, there you go. Okay.